Mike here for Underground Video Network behind the counter. Now, if you've ever watched the show before, you know that I have a place in my heart for voiceover talent. I think they are some of the most incredible and underappreciated talent that Hollywood or any place has ever seen. And I am here with Mike Pollock, who, again, like most voice talent actors, you might not recognize, but we'll give you a little hint. This man here is responsible for one of the most iconic villains in all of comic book history, Dr. Eggman. Yes, indeed! <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you, how did you get into doing voiceover work? I grew up as a kid loving radio and I was in radio for a while after college and I realized while being in radio that what I really loved was doing wacky voices in commercials and other stuff so eventually radio took a turn for the worse <laughs> and I took a turn out of radio and was able to concentrate on just doing commercials and voiceovers and other character work. How did you get started? How did you make that transition to hey you know I had enough character work built up from commercials and other comedy bits that I was able to build a demo reel mm -hmm. sent it out to a uh, an advert a blind box classified ad in Backstage Magazine, which turned out to be Pokemon. So I got a little walk-on part in Pokemon for one episode, and four kids who was producing Pokemon at the time remembered me when they came out with their four kids TV Saturday morning package, and they said, come in and audition for some other stuff. And then they ended up hiring me for Ultimate Muscle, and Kirby Right Back At Ya, and Sonic X, and Viva Pinata, and Go Go Riki, and a bunch of other shows. And then it ballooned from there. That's great. Now what's it like for you to be a associated with such an iconic people across the world you know I'm a child of the 90s I grew up playing you know Sonic and it's one of those characters that has you know grown with me you've carried that over for years you know what, what's that like it's a tremendous honor it was a great honor getting the the uh, original Sonic X role in 2003 mm -hmm. and then there was the uh, famous recasting in 2010 and they asked me to re-audition and they were nice enough to hire me back so I am currently the longest running English voice talent in the cast. There you go. This man right here. Now, not only have you done it for video games, but you've done it for cartoons. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in like tone for doing it for video games as it is for cartoons? It varies based on the script. If it's a particularly angry, violent version of the video game, as some of them have been, then it needs an angrier read, and it's gotten a lot more intense, and people say, wow, that was so, such an intense performance, because that's what the script called for. Mm -hmm. But the main difference is just in the process of being able to follow a linear your plot for a cartoon versus a very disjointed series of lines for a video game. Yeah. Now, uh, it's not just Dr. Eggman that you've done before. What are some of the other ones that you're known, the voices that you're known for? Sure. One of the, the earliest uh, roles that I got that I have a very fond place in my heart is Meat from Ultimate Muscle, who is a little truck driver guy in a diaper, but he sounded like this. <laughs> uh, I also did in Kirby, I was the mayor and Samo the bartender. Uh, little known fact, uh, which should be a better known fact, in Sonic X I was also Ella the Maid, which also sounds something like this. So I got to do things. So that's, that was not only a hysterical bit of casting that made me laugh every time I thought of it, but uh, that was tremendously fun to do both roles. Um, then in, also in 4Kids stuff, I was Langston Lickitoad in Viva Pinata. I was Big O Riki in Go Go Riki. I had some bit parts in the 2003 Ninja Turtle series that they did. And then a whole bunch of anime stuff in between and weird commercials. My website has a large collection of them. And there's a YouTube playlist of some of my finest work. Well, that's great. Uh, can you tell our fans the website so they can go ahead and check out your uh, your vast vault of talent? Absolutely. It is itsamike.com. I-T-S-A-M-I-K-E.com, which will link you to the YouTube lists and Facebook and Twitter and all those other places. It's a Mike. He's the one that took it from me. Mike, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, it was a great Mike. honor to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.